As the investigation into a Scientology-run drug treatment center continues, more people who attended the center are now coming forward. News 9's Dana Hurtnicki has that story new at 6. Christina, three people have died at the center in the past nine months, the most recent last week. The OSBI has now turned the results of its investigation in that death over to the district attorney in Pittsburgh County. This as we are learning more about exactly what happens inside the facility. It was a way to get you kind of weak and vulnerable and, and able to trust whatever they're telling you. It was about a year ago that this woman, who asked us to hide her identity, checked into the Narconon Drug Rehab Facility. She was there at the same time as Gabrielle Graves, who died in October. The medical examiner could not determine a cause. was very excited about getting home to his family, and um, when I found out that he died, it, it shocked me. The woman says patients at the center would first go through detox, then a course written by Scientology founder L. Ron Hubbard. One thing I had to do was talk to an ashtray. Um, you have to tell it to stand up, and then you have to tell it to sit down. After patients pass the course, they are given high doses of vitamins and told to sit in a sauna for five hours a day to sweat out the drugs. People got sick, people would have serious diarrhea, you know, things like that. The woman says most of those working at the facility were not medical personnel, but former patients. They're kind of just people like me that, that have been through the program and decided to stay and work. And many patients would stay. This woman says she wanted to after those at the facility convinced her that her family was the reason for her addiction. I need to detach myself from them in order to remain sober and to, to live a happy life. Now, we have talked to other people who have worked in other treatment facilities, and they tell us this method of treatment is not typical. Administrators at Narconon, by the way, say they are cooperating with investigators. Christina. All right, Dana. The Oklahoma Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse is also investigating that facility.